Welcome, my dearest students, grade 12 students, to your IB course for grade 12. This is Ms. Vera Alishan. I will be teaching you the IB biology course for this year. Inshallah, we'll be continuing what you already started from last year uh, in, uh, in your courses about biology. Uh, just We will go through the, recapping the main, uh, the main ideas that you took before, whether it was about uh, cell biology, molecular biology, genetics, ecology, evolution, and biodiversity. And we will continue, will continue with me this year talking about the human physiology, plant physiology, and uh, animal physiology. And uh, between the uh, four uh, optional uh, subjects or topics that we will uh, you should be we will be choosing together. We, I will recommend it for you to start with the human physiology as it's related to what's left and uh, you can gain uh, marks easily about this subject. Now, we will start talking about the IB biology, how students uh, should learn about the cell theory, chemistry of living organisms, plant system, genetics, and uh, another topics in related to genetics, cell structure and function, molecular biology, evolution and biodiversity, and um, ecology and ecosystem. This year, we will, we will be continuing what you, left, uh, what you have left from last year, which we will start with the human physiology. In a human physiology, the topic will include the body system, a human biology system, which is that we will talk about digestion and absorption of material using um, uh, in, uh, in our body, we will talk about circulatory system, circulatory system which is, consists of the heart and the cardiovascular system, which is the veins, arteries, and capillaries. After that, we will talk about the um, mechanism, the defense mechanism in your body, which is uh, about our uh, immune system, white blood system, and uh, how your body how your body work against infectious diseases and pathogens as you know or we uh, you studied before about the uh, pathogens which is, can be viral bacterial or fungus these can affect you by causing a disease your body need to defend himself uh, um, against these diseases by uh, uh, by your immune system after that we will talk about the respiratory system respiratory system gas exchange inside your lungs between the carbon dioxide and oxygen uh, you will be uh, we will be talking about how your respiratory system work with a uh, circulatory system and nervous system to uh, circulate or to distribute all of the nutrients all around your body and taking away the uh, carbon dioxide waste outside your body uh, in a process called inhalation and exhalation which happened by the uh, by the help of a, a smooth muscle found in between your uh, thoracic cavity and your abdominal cavity which is the diaphragm after that we will talk about the main important um, system in our body which is the nervous system the nervous system consists of the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system the central and nervous uh, central and peripheral nervous system it's a very a uh, complicated uh, system but that because they control all of your body system by the brain and the neurons these neurons can control the synapse which is uh, about the stimulus that causes uh, these stimulus to go to the brain act on it uh, processing the information then the response will go back to the uh, to the body by uh, by neuron to act uh, to act for uh, a response after that, we will talk about the chemicals that help your body in uh, responding to a specific uh, stimulation that causes by hormones and, um, uh, and other uh, hormones and other chemicals that maintain the homostasis in your body. As you, as you uh, studied before, homostasis means to maintain stable or to maintain fixed. This homostasis in your body has to be found in your body temperature, your body blood pressure, your blood pressure, uh, the amount of pH and amount of minerals inside your body. This can be all controlled using your, your uh, nervous system. After that, we will talk about the reproduction, uh, reproduction system, which is female reproductive system, male reproductive system, what is the difference between them. Uh, for this, uh, for this we will have, of course, a special uh, 
lab uh, uh, lab experiments and we will go to the lab to explore them and see them in uh, in details this will be in chapter six in regards to uh, uh, ib courses after that we will be moving to the plant biology plant biology is talk about the transport of materials into and out of the plants the growth of the plants and the reproduction whether it was sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction in the plants the diversity of the plants also uh, should be taken in our consideration the type of or the materials that the uh, the plants need to grow or to reproduce the places where these type of plants found and the other uh, we cannot found it the anatomy of the structural parts of the plants also will be included in our study after that we will be moving to uh, topic 11 topic 11 talking about uh, animal physiology now we need to understand we talk about the human physiology in topic 6 then we will be moving to chapter 11 or uh, unit 11 which will be talking about animal physiology in animal physiology we will talk about the antibody production the vaccination uh, movement in our body which uh, in animal in general which is about muscular system and about the what muscles and bone system uh, uh, how they in animal okay and then we will talk about the kidney and the osmoregulation of the materials into and out of the animal cells and at the end we will talk about the sexual reproduction in animal how it's different between types of animals by this we will be done from the higher level standards of uh, uh, higher level standard for uh, the materials in the IB course then we will be uh, back to the uh, optional courses that can be taught in this unit and I recommended D which is a human physiology this one we will extend our um, uh, our uh, teaching for a human nutrient digestion function of the liver the heart hormones and metabolism transportation and respiratory uh, the whole gas exchange this is in ex in regards to the external uh, examination we will left with the internal examination the internal examination it should be around 20% uh, of the total we will go through them in details uh, discuss each one of them how to maintain uh, to, to we will be aiming to the higher level which is above 20 from 24 inshallah we, we will have a fruitful year and we will be uh, we will work together to gain and finish them before time so we will have time to revise and make sure that you are uh, fully ready for uh, your internal exam best of luck for all of you guys for internal and external exam and hopefully you will have a great, a great year together thank you